My name is Ron Buckmeyer, and I'm at Occidental College in Los Angeles, California. Uh, when I was young, yes, math was always uh, an easy topic. And so when I was in high school, my favorite class actually was chemistry, um, but that's primarily because that was the best teacher. Um, and my math teachers, you know, weren't anything special. I knew I wanted to become a math major very quickly. So I went to college as a physics major and at an engineering school and immediately realized that the best parts of physics are clearly math um, and um, hated doing experiments and things with your hands. And so in my second semester, maybe even partly through my first semester, I switched to being a mathematics major. Um, but just because you're a mathematics major doesn't necessarily mean you want to become a mathematician. Um, and so what happened after that was because of my immigration status, I was in the United States, I couldn't go back home to the Caribbean. And so then my first summer, I discovered this amazing um, result that uh, people would pay you to do mathematics over the summer. And so that basically put me on the path to thinking that I would be doing mathematics as part of you know, my career moving forward. So I am an applied mathematician and that means that the mathematics that I research and study comes from real world situations or has relatively immediate applications to uh, equations or problems that are um, sourced in or applied to the real world. So specifically, my PhD thesis work was in computational aerodynamics, which is basically using mathematics to model or use mathematics to describe fluid flow, that is the flow of uh, air around particular kinds of uh, wings. One was my immigration status was such that so I was, I was always sort of um, legally in the United States, but um, because of the arcane nature of immigration laws, because I had changed my status while in the US, um, if I left, then um, I would have to apply out of the country and wouldn't, it wasn't a certainty that I'd be able to get back in because when you apply, you never know, you get denied. So what that meant was that um, one, I didn't go home over the summer, and then um, my uh, parents applied for me to get a green card, but that takes a while. <laughs> so while I was waiting for that to happen, I said, oh, I, I just should stay in college and get more degrees. So I got my master's and my PhD. Um, it takes so long so to uh, get the green card that I got the PhD and then I got my first job. And then after then I um, got my green card. I usually rearrange the question as um, what would you like people to remember that you did or that you were involved with? And um, I can think of three things. Uh, the first is that um, I would like to be known for my uh, ability to play chess. Um, so uh, when I was very young and 14, 15, um, I basically traveled the world um, as a, um, a junior chess champion. I was chess champion of my country multiple times. And I, um, I actually traveled to the United States won several thousand dollars. Uh, I played in the World Junior Chess Championship, et cetera. So sort of being known as sort of someone who, um, especially um, there are very few uh, people of color who have been successful at chess at the level that um, I was. Second thing is um, also proud of um, 
broadening the participation of underrepresented groups in mathematics. Um, and um, happy for me, I'm in two groups. Um, and so um, I have been involved in the um, establishment of a organization called Spectra, which is for LGBTQIA uh, uh, mathematicians. Um, and I guess the third thing would be, um, I ran a program for a couple of years at the National Science Foundation, which gave grants to colleges and universities uh, to provide uh, scholarships to students who majored in STEM, science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. And, um, and I would note that while I was there, um, you know, I was one of the few um, uh, African-American or Black uh, program officers and one of the few openly gay program officers. And so, um, you know, being a chess champion, sort of um, working towards uh, LGBT recognition in the math community and working more broadly to broaden participation for financially needy, for uh, women in mathematics, for Racial, minor, racial and ethnic minorities in mathematics. Um, that's what I'd like to be known for. The primary role model I had was at my, um, at Occidental College. The reason why I got my job is that um, the department head at the time, um, actually before I applied, uh, was openly gay. And when I was a grad student, I was visiting my boyfriend in Los Angeles and I met him at a gay event, at a gay movie. And he said, oh, you know, you're a graduate student. Um, uh, when you graduate, you should think about applying. You know, we have this um, minority postdoctoral scholar residence um, program. Um, and I did. And, um, and that was one of the very few. I only, that, it was only that and a um, a postdoc at a, um, a national lab that I had after I was um, I graduated. Um, and you know the faculty position was in Los Angeles, where uh, my sister and my boyfriend lived, so it was a no brainer. Um, and so, but he uh, his name was Don Goldberg. Uh, was definitely a mentor of mine, sort of, you know, got me into the department at Occidental College. He was a department chair, then later I became a department chair, and then he became a dean, so now I am a dean. He also was one of the uh, organizers of the small working group that um, uh, organized LGBT mathematicians um, in the 1990s. And so he was a role model for me to, to show me that, um, you know, you can have a career trajectory that is not bounded by, you know, other people's uh, beliefs. Uh, you, can just, you can do as much as you uh, need or want to do. I have two ideas. Mathematics is for solving problems. And I think, you know, mathematics, um, because I'm an applied mathematician, I think mathematics should be used to solve problems that affect the real world, but um, it's fine if you want to use mathematics to solve problems that no one can ever imagine have any uh, possible application to anything in the real world as well. Mathematics, but mathematics is for solving problems. And the second thing is that um, uh, mathematics uh, is a human endeavor. Uh, you know, mathematics is done by people <laughs> and um, uh, people have identities and that we should be aware that, um, you know, the people who do mathematics can form a community and um, everyone should be welcome to participate um, in the mathematics community or do mathematics in whatever way um, works for them. So mathematics is for everyone. Um, I um, do my best to try to counter this idea that 
some people can do math and some people are not math people. Um, and yeah, that's just not true. <laughs> um, you know, math is for solving problems. Math is for everyone. You know, math is done by people. <laughs>